Hello, everyone, and welcome back to King's Advisors. Today, we're going to be talking about copyright, and more specifically, the fact that Disney is actually losing a copyright over the original inspiration for Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie. Now, I've seen a lot of people talk about this. I've seen a bunch of videos, and I know all of you have probably seen a bunch of videos, too. But some of the videos that I've seen have been mistaken on some of the things that they've discussed. So I want to try and explain exactly what's going to happen. So in order to do that, I have to kind of go back in time a little bit. So in the 1990s, Disney and a bunch of other companies successfully lobbied Congress to extend copyright protection so that it would match the same protection that they had with their IPs and their copyrights in Europe. So Disney obviously has been trying to lobby Congress for probably the last decade to extend copyright again so that things like Steamboat Willie and Winnie the Pooh, which entered the public domain uh, last year, would not enter the public domain. Now, obviously, this has failed. So starting next year in 2024, Steamboat Willie, the first iteration of Mickey Mouse, will enter the public domain. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that companies, people, basically anyone will be able to use Steamboat Willie without having to pay licensing fees or any sort of fee to Disney. This is a little tricky because while the copyright for Steamboat Willie will end, Disney will still have a trademark over Mickey Mouse as a corporate mascot. So what that means is if Sony were to, for example, use Steamboat Willie. Under copyright, that would be fine. But depending on how they use Steamboat Willie, they might be breaking the law under trademark. So my guess would be that Disney will probably start issuing cease and desist letters and things like that, arguing that any company using Steamboat Willie is violating Disney's trademark as a corporate mascot. Now, the issue with this is it would probably be pretty expensive to fight that. The other thing that I've seen uh, mistakenly discussed in some in some videos, not a lot, that I've, I've seen this like once or twice, is that what version of Mickey Mouse is entering the public domain? It's not the red pants, white face black skin Mickey Mouse white gloves that we see here on the right side of this video. It's Steamboat Willie that we see her on the left side. So the issue will become when companies or people decide to start using Steamboat Willie and they colorize him. Well, if you match the colors with the current Mickey Mouse, you may be encroaching on that copyright. So that's going to be an issue. You're you're going to need to use Steamboat Willie as he was created in 1928. I do foresee several lawsuits coming out of this. Uh, I I think Disney would be stupid to not try to use that trademark protection they have to squash companies using Steamboat Willie. Um, I know that it's very likely that there will be some sort of like Steamboat Willie horror movie that comes out in the same vein of that Winnie the Pooh movie. I think that's a very safe bet for whoever makes that because they are not using it as a corporate image. But for any company that decides to start selling Steamboat Willie merchandise, I would be very hesitant because while I think it's pretty clear to the average person the intent of trademark is to protect the consumer and they don't always look at the average person. Sometimes they look at the less than average side of that bell graph. So I foresee some really interesting uh, lawsuits coming up out of Disney in the next year. I think we're going to hear a lot of stories about cease and desist letters. I think there's going to be some interesting stuff going on with the USPTO. I'm going to be very interested to see all this. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter at Kings Advisors underscore.